name is Sandy Johnson and I'm an Extension B Specialist with K-State Research and Extension. Today I'd like to talk about implants in suckling calves. Why to use them and then address some management considerations that may influence the decision to do so. Use of implants in suckling calves has been shown to increase calf gains an average of 5% over numerous trials. When conditions are favorable and calves are gaining more weight, the benefit from the implant will be greater. Price of implants range from a little over $1.30 to $5, so it only takes a few pounds improvement in gain to pay for both the implant and labor. The more expensive implants have a longer payout and greater return in total weight gain. Some may elect to forego the use of implants so that calves could be marketed for either a non-hormone treated or never ever type of market. Those that do so will need to take active steps to market the calves to be paid for giving up the added weight gain that implants provide. An analysis of lots sold through Superior Video Auction indicates 25 to 29 percent of all lots sold between 2010 and 2018 were listed as implanted. In 2017 and 2018, implanted lots sold for a higher price than non-implanted. A number of studies have demonstrated that properly managed implant programs for suckling calves do not have negative impacts on subsequent performance or carcass characteristics and the increased gain is additive. If you raise your own replacements, I would avoid implanting heifers born in the first 30 to 40 days of the calving period. These would be targeted for your replacement group. They have the best outlook for long-term reproductive success because of their age advantage. If you do implant some potential replacements, be sure to use implants labeled for heifers and according to label directions. Do not implant bull calves intended for breeding. Historically, the implants labeled for calves have had a 70 to 100 day payout period. A newer product with a slow release technology has a 200 day release period and offers additional flexibility for different management systems that may involve a preconditioning or backgrounding period. Implants are a tool producers can use to cost-effectively increase weaning weights. Larger data sets do not show a market advantage for non-implanted calves. Look for implants labeled for use in suckling calves and use according to label directions. Not all implants are labeled for use in heifers intended for replacements. For more information about use of implants in suckling calves, contact me or your local county extension office.